It is unfortunate to say that many Philippine traditional arts and crafts nowadays are disappearing. In this new millennium, the indigenous cultural and artistic heritage of the Philippines is threatened by modernization and globalization. Members of the Philippine tribes and indigenous communities are forced to move to the city to seek better economic opportunities. Thus, leaving behind their rich and unique culture and practices that have thrived for many years. Nagawad sa Manilika ng Bayan or also known as National Living Treasure Award is a search for finest traditional artists of the land. As envisioned under RA7355, Manilika ng Bayan show mean a citizen engaged in any traditional art uniquely Filipino, whose distinctive skills have reached such a higher level of technical and artistic excellence and have been passed on to and widely practiced by the present generation in his or her community with the same degree of technical and artistic competence. The state's recognition of such sociocultural contribution was formalized through this act in 1992. Senate Resolution Number or SRN 765, this resolution was adopted by the Senate of the Philippines in 2014 aimed at recognizing the accomplishments of the country's living treasures. The very essence of this is to get to know the Gamaba Awardees of the Philippines and how their exemplary works contributed to the development and preservation of traditional art forms of the country. By honoring those artists would keep the tradition alive by practicing and teaching the younger generation about the indigenous art. These artists are also recognized as the country's national living treasures. There were 13 finest folk artists of the land who have received this distinction for their dedication in creating the craft, using skills and indigenous methods and materials. Artists who received the recognition for preserving the traditional art of the Philippines, which kept the art alive even in the contemporary period. How does one become a Mandilikha ng Bayan? That was a good question, partner. To become a Mandilikha ng Bayan, a candidate must possess the following qualifications. First, should be a Filipino citizen or a group of citizens belonging to an indigenous or traditional cultural community anywhere in the Philippines engage in Filipino traditional art in the following categories folk architecture, maritime transport, weaving, carving, performing arts, literature, graphic and plastic arts, ornament, textile or fiber art, pottery, and other artistic expression of traditional culture. Second, should have been engaged in the tradition and craft for a significant period of time with at least 50 years of existence and documentation. Third, should have consistently produced works of superior quality over significant period. Fourth, should possess mastery of the tools and materials that are needed for the art and must have a reputation for being an art master and crop maker in the community where he or she belongs. Fifth, must have transferred and or willing to transfer to other members of the community the skills in the traditional and folk arts for which the community has become nationally known. However, a candidate who, due to age or infirmity, has left him or her incapable of teaching further his or her craft may still be recognized provided that he or she must possess the qualifications as enumerated above. To be a Gamaba awardee is such an honor, right partner? 
that is right, partner. Just like those awardees that we are going to feature. The excellence in their respective fields and their stories in this video. Inabel is an Ilocano hand woven texture portraying the least difficult or plain to the most multifaceted blends, steadily weaved by lady weavers. It is notable for its great quality, softness, and strength. In the Ilocos region, a remarkable symbol in bell weaving is Magdalena Gamayo. Lola Magdalena, currently at the age of 96, is an expert weaver. In 2012, Lola Magdalena was honored as a National Living Treasure or Gawad sa Manlilikha ng Bayan mandated by the National Commission for Culture and the Arts for the Abel weaving tradition in the country. She is the only Gamaba awardee in the region. To continue the Abel weaving tradition in Ilocos Norte, Lola Magdalena still continues to share her skills by giving lectures and some tutorials to local women and students with the methods and techniques. Teofilo Garcia, a 74-year-old man, has learned making the tabunga from his grandfather when he was still 15 years old. Whenever he goes out, he often wears his tabunga to the curiosity of other people who often ask them order from him. Over the years, he has mastered and innovated his craft to the point of being recognized nationally. His handmade hat was made of native gourd, hollowed up, polished, and varnished to the bright orange sheen to improve its weather resistance. The inside is lined with finely woven rattan matting and brim sports of sable bamboo weave for accent. Because of his contribution, in 2012, he was honored as National Living Treasure or Gawad sa Manilikha ng Bayan Awardee together with Magdalena Gamayo. Eduardo Mutuk is an artist who has dedicated his life to creating religious and secular art in silver, bronze, and wood. His intricately detailed retablos, mirrors, altars, and carrozas are in churches and private collections. A number of these works are quite large, some exceeding 40 feet, while some are very small and feature very fine and delicate craftsmanship. He is the only one Kapampangan recipient of Gawad sa Manlilikha ng Bayan who proclaimed in 2004. A people life's blood is their stories. People's stories provide an insight into their thoughts, beliefs, and desires. People's tales in reality eloquently encapsulate the essence of their humanity. And this situation isn't exclusive to anyone's race. It's like a thread that runs between the ancient East civilization and the modern West cultures. Federico Caballero, a Panay Bukid known from the mountains of central Panay, has worked tirelessly to document his people's oral literature, particularly the epics. These 10 epics written in a language related kindrai are but no longer spoken form an encyclopedic folklore that only most dedicated and gifted students can learn. In the year 2000, 
the National Commission for Culture and the Arts named him a National Living Treasure for weaving the fabric of oral tradition. Maguindanao is one of the largest Islamic province in the Philippines. They are highly sophisticated in weaving, ochre designs, jewelry, metalwork, and brassware. In music, Kutiabi is a favorite solo instrument among both Muslim and non-Muslim Filipinos and is also played in combination with other instruments. In fact, Kutiabi is hard to master among all traditional musical instruments that the country have. Samaan Sulaiman achieved the highest level of excellence in the art of Kutyapi playing. His extensive repertoire of Dinalayday, Linapu, Minuna, Binalik, and other forms and styles interpreted with refinement and sensitivity, fully demonstrated and creative, and expressive possibilities of his instrument. In 1993, he was recognized as National Living Treasure or Gamaba for his excellence and contribution in Kutiapi playing. Lang Gulai speaks more eloquently than words can abaca fiber as fine as hair. Her nimble hands recreate images from her people's distant past, the crocodile, butterflies and flowers, as well as the mountains and streams of Lake Cebu, in South Codapato, where she and her ancestors were born, and fill the fabrics with her longing to be remembered. Lang Dulay does everything she can to preserve her people's tradition. Lang Dulay is familiar with hundred designs, such as buling langit, clouds, bankiring, hair bangs, and kabangi, butterfly, each one unique for their stories it tells. She spin her stories with grace, using red and black dyes. Her textile reflect her people's wisdom and visions. She also received a Yawad Manilikha ng Bayan Award in 1998. We Filipinos must begin to embrace and preserve our cultural heritage so that future generations can understand and enjoy our past as well. These systems are more capable of telling stories and history than those used in our textbooks. The Philippine switches included not only its natural splendors and elegance, but also the culture and one tribe here. Just like the 13 Gamaba Awardees, who spend their lives in nurturing, preserving, and teaching the cultural treasure that our country owns. They continue to strive harder in teaching younger generations. They peacefully continue what they do in the needs of technological innovation that the changing world brought. They have no fine praise, acknowledgement, or appreciation from a society that has not yet learned how to appreciate the art of a culture they perform. But as for Commission for Culture and the Arts, it is possible to recognize those significant Filipino artisans who perform the gift treasure that God given to them. I am April J. Hubger. And I am James Andrew Viterbo. And this, this is, is Gamaba, Gamaba, the National, National Living, Living Treasures. Treasures.